Nelson Chamisa from Zimbabwe, from TBC. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here on BTV News. Uh, it's good to have you here. Uh, how important was it for you to be invited here into the event, Mr. Chamisa? Well, thank you very much. I'm so excited to be here. I'm here representing the people of Zimbabwe, their aspirations, their hopes for democracy, their hopes for freedom. But what you have to realize is that uh, Botswana is a signal. Botswana has done a significant thing for the continent, uh, for a new Africa, but also for the region in terms of heralding uh, an era of newness, an era of transformation, an era of effective uh, transition. You look at it, uh, the BDP was in power for almost 58 years. This is a smooth transition from one political party to another. It's a critical thing. We've seen ZANU-PF in Zimbabwe. We've defeated them in elections twice, but they've refused to go. So we hope that Mr. Mnangagwa, who is here and is just two rows away from me, will learn one or two lessons yeah. about life after politics, life after leadership, life after public office. So that's why it is so critical and significant. And God has blessed Africa and God has blessed Botswana and we are happy we are here to celebrate. Yeah, uh, let's speak about democracy, in, in, especially in Africa. I wanted us to zoom into the issue of democracy. Uh, how important is that for a country such as Botswana has been able to have a peaceful transition from one party to another? To what lessons are we learning for Africa and for the whole region? We are one people. We are one nation. We are one family. And democracy is about taking turns. It's your turn today, it's another's turn tomorrow. We must not be vindictive. We must not be pursuing each other. Even former presidents must be honored and respected. We don't want a situation whereby former presidents are pursued in a cat and mouse relationship. Let's give them honor, respect. Of course they made mistakes, omissions and commissions, but let there be honor, because that's what keeps us as a family. We are one village, and President Boko emphasized that point, that we must remain understanding that you know, hands wash each other. Yeah. We, we are one people. The, yeah. the, uh, lastly, Mr. Chamisa, uh, the message of, from President Boko, what did you pick from his speech as a deliver speech? I know it was a, not a very long speech, but a very short and precise one. What lessons have you picked from these speeches? Love is everywhere in the world, and we must embrace it. Love is in the air in Botswana, and the Botswana people have shown the love. And he has said there must be building of bridges. He has reached out to say, let's embrace uh, President Masisi. Let's embrace the past, acknowledge it, but move on to correct it. And I think that's a critical message. It's a statesman's message. President Boko is a leader par excellence. It's a statesman, he's a leader of a new Africa, of a new SADC, and he signals a new order. And we are proud of him. Have you met before with President Boko? We have met several times. I mean, you know that we have been with President Boko uh, in setbacks, in victory. And the reason is that we believe that Africa needs a new leadership, a new heart set in leadership. We must reach out to build our continent and to make the continent of Africa one of the best in the world. And we can do it. And we must start now. Thank you, Mr. Chamele. It was a pleasure to, to talk to Mr. Chamele. Thank you so much and all your best in your endeavor also in Zimbabwe. Thank you so much. All the best for Botswana. God bless Botswana. And may there be peace and prosperity in Botswana. Thank you. Thank you.